Caleb is from the area, right? They need a quarterback. Whereas there's Jaden Daniels and there's Drake May for them to just sit and take and then keep all their draft capital that apparently, according to our colleague Ian Rappaport, DJ, is what, a uh, godfather plus godfather part two offer that needs to come to Chicago's way, that they want something unprecedented? Uh, would you would you suggest them doing something unprecedented to go get Caleb Williams just up one spot, two to one? You know, I don't know that I would say unprecedented. I think if you can if you can get something done that's uh, you know that's within reason, I can make a case for that. I like the other two quarterbacks. I mean, I think there's there's three good quarterbacks in this draft that I I think are really highly graded. And I also think when you look at Washington and you look at Adam Peters coming over there, you always carry your scars with you. And maybe the one do over uh, that he might have with John Lynch there is the the massive haul to go up to get Trey Lance that that didn't pan out. Um, so does he carry that with him? They're sitting there with the second pick. And let's say on a grading scale, you might have a, you know, a 69 or a 70 grade on Caleb Williams and he's the top guy, but then you've got 67 grades on the next two guys like, okay, yeah, he's a little bit better, but man, you know, this is a, still a really, really good option for me. And I'm not going to have to part with all the picks. Hmm. And, uh, who's the next quarterback tier? Like, and where does it start? Do you think in the first round? Well, here's the teams, um, teams that I think are going to be involved in quarterbacks and could at least be involved in having the conversation to try and go up. And that's six, the giants who also, you know, happen to possess two second round picks. Um, you're going to have all these picks down in your head, Rich. They're all going to be on a card. You're going to be studying this stuff. Uh, <laughs> right now, the, my it's... head's still spinning from Vegas, man, but I've got yeah, two plus weeks to get it. I'll, no, I'll, you, I'll get got, there. I'll get there. You got time. You yeah, got time. Atlanta, funny. Atlanta is at eight. They've got two threes. So I'm just looking at teams that have maybe a little extra uh, resources there. You've got Minnesota at 11, Denver at 12, Vegas at 13. Denver would be tricky. They don't even own a second round pick this year. So, you know, they're still, you know, paying for the previous quarterback move that they made. So there's no shortage of teams. And that's why, you know, I think there's those top three quarterbacks for me. Then you get into the next three, whatever order you have them in. I think the teams that I talk to, and and, and really I shouldn't say teams, but uh, personnel executives, yes. general managers, their personal opinion on these guys is all over the place. Um, but there's McCarthy teams, there's Bo Nix teams, there's Penix teams. Um, so you're looking at six quarterbacks right there, and we're getting to pick 13. Mm. And I've got I've got eight teams that could be potentially quarterback teams, which means don't be shocked if we see an unprecedented run on these guys. All right, catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 